First off, salty means that there's a certain amount of dissolved mat material in the water. That dissolved material will affect the smell and the taste. To begin with, rainwater isn't pure. Keep that in mind. Rainwater gets its composition largely because a raindrop usually forms around a grain of dust and it can also dissolve the gases in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide most often, but certainly some pollutants as well. As a result of where the rain is coming from in the world, the rainwater composition will be different depending on where you are. For the most part, though, rainwater is safe to drink, also known as potable or potable, depending on where you are in the world. As soon as the rain hits the ground, okay, it starts to flow. It'll either flow into the pores in the ground, becoming groundwater, or it'll flow off a surface, and we call it runoff. Most of the fresh water in the world becomes groundwater. As water moves through the ground, whatever it encounters, if it can be dissolved, will be picked up by the water. And if it can't be dissolved, it might still be carried by the water. That would include bacteria, organic waste, pollutants, chemicals, and so on. But if the water stays in the ground and travels far enough, many of the harmful elements can be filtered out by sand, coal, and clay, which act as a filter. If you were then to drill for that groundwater, you might have a pretty safe source for drinking water. The surface runoff picks up sand and dirt and silt and clay and transports it downstream. Along with everything else it encounters, only the surface runoff doesn't get filtered. And that's why a river will get murkier and murkier the longer it runs. This is generally not a good place to get your drinking water. But it's still not as salty as the ocean. Imagine all of the water that runs all over the world running into an ocean with all of its substances. Some organisms that live there in the water will eat the organic material. Other organisms might break down the pollutants. Other chemicals will eventually settle out on the bottom or turn to limestone. But much of the minerals that have been dissolved en route to the ocean stay. And the more water that runs in, the more minerals appear. But here's the thing. The rainwater initially comes from the evaporated water, which we all know comes off the land and sea as part of the water cycle. And all those salts that are in the ocean can't evaporate with the water. They remain behind in the ocean, becoming more and more concentrated. The oceans are salty because they're old, and there's lots of salt in them that was left behind. The process of evaporating water and leaving behind the salt is called distillation. The sunshine will do this naturally, but if you want to do this artificially, it's going to take a lot of energy, something that historically humans have not always had access to.